Welcome back to the congregation. Today we have a special treat. I'm on the dyna. Just kidding. It's not really all that special. We have a character. What? I'm special? Like, you're special? <laughs> he said it. I didn't say it. It's been a long time, but the band is finally back together again. Woo! We're going to see more of uh, of Jack and Colleen here in the next uh, next few hours. But uh, we are on the dyna again today. There's a reason for that. I've seen your comments. Don't forget about the Rogue King. Oh, oh no. I have not forgotten about the Rogue King. It is still the king. The thing about this Dyna is it's been a challenge. And I want absolute soul-crushing victory. And I haven't achieved that yet. So what we did, if you caught up last time, is uh, I had all the oil problems fixed, but uh, leaked about six ounces of oil between here and Ormond Beach. And I uh, wasn't quite sure where it came from until on the way back we stopped at a red light and I saw that the uh, oil gauge that I had on there was just kind of bouncing around. It wasn't tight. So I'm pretty sure that's where it was coming from. Uh, I had nowhere near enough sealant on the threads, I discovered. So we got uh, we got some new stuff. I've got uh, a new Lowbrow Customs gauge. Yes, it is upside down. I'll talk about that in a second. I actually got this in last week and was getting ready to fix it last week. And when I was taking the switch off, the old switch, I broke it. Shelby warned me that this black part here is ceramic and that it's very sensitive. All I was doing was trying to take it off and sure as shit it shattered. So I had to order one of those. The reason why this gauge is upside down is because I wanted to make sure this mother farmer was tightened in there as good as I could get it without just over torquing it. And uh, that's where she stopped. So I don't need it to be right side up. It does kind of mess with my head a little bit, but anyway, we're gonna get on the road here in just a few minutes. Show them around old D land. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the road. Hey, nieces and nephews, we're gonna get right back to the video. But first I wanted to talk a little bit about my new partnership with First MFG. If you're anything like me, you're scrolling through social media on a daily basis. And because we all like motorcycles, we're gonna see a lot of motorcycle ads come through. One that always caught my eye was anytime First MFG came up, I always considered them like the premier in motorcycle riding or fashion apparel. I know many other fellow YouTubers and other riders who swear by First MFG ride with that gear. So finally, we pulled the trigger and we got this upside club style leather vest from First MFG. If you've been around a while, you know that I've always worn vests in my videos for various reasons, most of which is for storage capacity. We're gonna talk about that in just a second. I've had many denim leather vests. Most of the time, the leather vests that I get, they're stiff as soon as you get them, and it takes a little while before they break in. It's kind of an annoyance. You can do some steps to make them softer right out of the box with different uh, leather treatment, saddle soaps, etc. But this one, nah, man. It's quality leather and it's soft right out of the gate. For me, on this upside club style leather vest, I chose the red stitching because it matches the Swamp King, it matches my helmet a little bit. And I chose the upside. It is a little bit shorter than the other vest. That allows for a more comfortable riding position so the leather's not bunched up on, on your waistline. The zipper is a little bit higher than some of the other vests. Again, that allows for a more comfortable riding position. Let's talk a little bit about all the storage that's on these vests. It's amazing how this piece of leather can house so many things. You've got external pockets up here on the chest. You've got side external pockets. You've got concealed carry pockets on both sides of the vest. The left side, once your vest is zipped, you still have access to that quick concealed carry pocket. You've got another pocket on the inside that's designated as a phone pocket, but I found that it also fits my case for my glasses, so I can slide that in there instead of worry about putting that stuff in my bag. With this partnership, if you use my code UNCLEBOGATOR at checkout or use a dedicated link that I'll have down in the description and in the pinned comment, you'll get 25% off your entire order. That's a big discount. A lot of discounts out there for promos are 15%, 10%. This was 25%. And you're not limited to the upside vest. You're not limited to the red stitching. You want a downside vest? You want a jacket? You want some gloves, some fashion apparel, some riding pants? It's all there. Now let's get on back to the regular video and we'll see you in the swamp. Yeah, boy. Oh, look at Jack with his uh, beanie on this thing. Yeah, yeah. Who needs a helmet? Just wear that. It's been a long time since we actually rode with anybody, huh, baby? Yep. So 
honestly, if uh, it's going to be anybody to come over and ride with us, I mean, I'd take all any of my friends, but I'm glad it's these two. Yeah, I'm hoping and praying that we got this uh, oil leak figured out. I got the oil pressure and the oil routing figured out, and I'm certain it wasn't leaking oil until I touched that stuff. So clearly, clearly it's something that I did that created the oil leak. I'm not that stupid. I know it was me. Worst case scenario, I take the gauge off completely. I stick the switch in there and rely on the switch because right now, instead of having one thing screwed in, I've got three things screwed in, and uh, the more things you have in, I basically it doesn't like double penetration, right? So, well, I guess that'd be triple penetration, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna say Bo Mama doesn't think any of that stuff's funny, by the way. Woo. Well, she is peppy. I mean, not fast. Really? But come on, dude. I, I've never seen anybody turn into there. Thanks for ruining my vibe. Yeah, we're gonna get some gas. We're gonna head over to Daytona Beach today. Uh, go swimming. No, we're not going swimming. I guess the uh, the Boot Hill Saloon is having a shovelhead show, and I've said it in the group here, uh, but I'll say it here. I, I don't have any like sort of, I don't know. I, I don't have any experience with shovelheads, so I don't necessarily care about them. But it is a destination, and uh, sometimes you know it's neat to see these things. If you're gonna have a, a gathering of shovelheads, yeah, why not go check it out? Right? But we're going to stop and get gas here first, and then uh, head over to OB. He's one of our favorite local spots, have some lunch. You guys like my little Dead Bee Customs bag? When I ordered it, I actually thought it was going to be bigger than this. Uh, this is perfect. I've got a couple spark plugs, a couple small tools, my glasses cases in there, extra batteries for the GoPro. Uh, I, don't, I hate carrying backpacks around, and I don't wear my vest in the summer. Well, not this summer. It's freaking hot. Uh, there's definitely a temperature difference both wintertime and summertime between the Bay Area, Tampa Bay Area, and Central-ish Florida. It's, uh, I mean, winter. It's Florida cold, but it's a lot colder here in the winter, and it's a lot hotter here in the summer. We don't have the Bay giving us a little, uh, oh, thermostat. I don't know. Thermal. I don't know. Whatever the fuck. I'm not smart. All right, let's get gas, and we'll see you up there. Yes, I'll pull into my own pump. Huh? I'll pull into my own pump. Yeah, I assumed. This thing uh, went 130 uh, dyna miles. I say dyna miles because we've established that the uh, speedometer isn't quite accurate. It's close, actually. I think on the last video I said uh, I said it was pretty far off. It actually isn't. God. What'd you do? I got gas everywhere. It's always gonna happen. Everybody does it. You guys, I think that was Bo Mama's first time overfilling her uh, gas tank. Is that your first time, baby? No, it's not even overfill. I just moved the stupid pump a little bit. And... Oh, and it splashed upward. Fuck. Yep. Yeah, this, uh, the spine on this one splashes up quite a bit. So anyway, I see 130 okay. dyna miles because, I mean, it might be four or five miles per hour over. I don't know. Either way, it's, it's plenty. It's a four gallon tank. I think I'm still running a little bit rich. Again, I haven't done the carburetor tuning at uh, operating speed. I've got my spark plugs that I bought last time in here for when I am ready to do that. Here we go. Now we're getting up here. There we go. Now we got a tank of gas. How much does she take? So 130 dyna miles. Oh, 4.3 gallons of gas. Maybe it's five gallon tank. I don't know. I thought this was a four gallon tank. And we're going to keep tightening that up because I got this inspires me when I ride. Otherwise, I wouldn't live to ride or ride to live. It's all over your arm, too? Yeah, it's fucking everywhere. I ain't no paper towels out here either. Oh, man. We're starting to, we're, we're going to come into fall here real soon. And so today is, uh, oh, you guys, you guys haven't had this in a few weeks. Today is uh, August 34th, the year of our Lord, 2024. It is a very tropical feeling, 86 degrees Fahrenheit outside. It feels hot and shitty, in other words, tropical. But we're getting there, man. Instead of uh, instead of looking at the 10-day uh, forecast and seeing, you know, 93 to 95 every day, it's like 86 to 80. I said all that so I could give you this weather report was brought to you by WMBR 1976.5 on your FM dial.
Come on, baby. I thought you had that. Sorry, all I smell is fucking gas. It's grossing me out. Man, this... I tell you what, guys. This cam... I mean, I didn't have this bike before the cam was installed, but, uh... What, Colleen? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Colleen's got a 117. That's good. She doesn't know where we're going. <laughs> That's the dangers of doing that. <laughs> Get in front if you want, but you don't know where we're going, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're faster. <laughs> but we still have to stop and wait on you. <laughs> I can't flash my lights at her. This headlight only has a uh, bright, bright beam. Oh, man, it feels so good out here compared to how it's felt. Now, when you're stopped and there's no breeze, it's still pretty nasty. But I'm excited for today and spend some time with uh, probably, probably the closest people that we had, you know, over in the Tampa area, as far as another couple goes, you know. But uh, anyway, we'll see you up here. Pete, you beat me in that race. Yeah. Beat you all the way to. Beat, she beat us all the way to Leon Spring. Uh, well, there's nothing going on up here. I was hoping maybe we had a band or something, but you know what? We can keep ourselves entertained. I've been playing with myself since I was 12 years old, so I'm pretty sure I can play with Jack. Get me in the camp. Here for a beer. Here. We're gonna check on the banana hand because see if it's leaking. I don't think it's gotten hot enough yet. I started doing this bullshit that it was doing two weeks ago. But I have a feeling I'm gonna be checking up on this thing a lot throughout the day. All right, hey, so far so good. Again, I don't think it got hot enough to start doing its thing. But uh, there's that little drop underneath. I'm honestly okay on my Evo with a little drop. It is definitely nice coming out here and seeing four of the five motorcycles belonging to me, my wife, and my friends. It is a good feeling. We have been over here in uh, D-Land since uh, October of last year, so we're working on 10 months, about 11 months almost. And uh, these are the only two that really come over and seen us, so I appreciate that a lot. It's good. The good times at OB's are now over. While we were sitting there, we picked up a wild Kenny Quest. I was really hoping he was going to come here on his uh, Evo, but I guess he's doing some things to it. So it's uh, it's down for the count, waiting for these things to be done. I won't spoil it for you. If you guys want to see for yourself, you're going to have to go over to Kenny Quest's uh, his YouTube channel. Turn the gas on. I always forget to do that shit. Now we're going to head over to Daytona. Oh, f man. See, this is where you get spoiled on your... Uh, twin cam where you don't have to have the key in all the time yeah stick it in just like she said come on baby oh, on key yep i got three motorcycle keys on this thing there we go she comes to life your thing's undone up front it's probably my fault because i took my camera out to make you buckle it how many times have i gotten off and buckled that thing at stoplights and shit one. Okay. One time. So now we're even. Yep, good times at OB's. You know, the longer I sit somewhere, the more you're like, ah, do I even really want to go over to Daytona? Yes. Exactly. Yes, I do. Oh, yeah, I forgot you were on comms. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the longer I sit there, it's like, ah, I'm kind of okay right here. But no, it's our friends are in. I mean, they already got a three-hour ride in, but we haven't, so it's good to ride with them. And I get to ride with my wife. Hey, you pulled up next to me. You're not offended by my presence anymore. You're just jealous. Here's the thing. Her bike is louder, but it doesn't have that same Evo thump. But you know what? Her bike works right, so. <laughs> right. It doesn't have an oil leak. There's some trade. Hey, mine doesn't have an oil leak either. Yet. Yet. I didn't have an oil leak yet. A <laughs> uh, good friend of mine, a lot of you guys probably already are familiar with him, Phil Zilla. We were in Discord. If you guys want to join my Discord, uh, check out Patreon. Uh, support really means a lot. But uh, anyway, he said in, in Discord, he's like, I remember growing up as a kid and my dad and all his friends, everybody with the old Evos would have to work on them every weekend. I'm like, oh, well, I mean... Mine's almost 30 years old now, so of course it's going to need more attention, but I kind of get it. 
invariably there's always somebody that says well if your bike always leaks oil get a different kind of bike <laughs> my god i should do a video i should do a video uh finding all the shitty hondas and yamahas and triumphs and shit out there because but trust me when i say trust me when i say there are way way more shitty hondas and shit out there than you think i should do that video uh if this uh if, if today proves to be a good field test i don't want to call it a test ride it's a field test if today's field test proves to be good to go I think our next video is going to be on the road king because while I do really love this stupid old bike, uh, it's not the road king. All right, this is, uh, I told Colleen earlier, I'm like, you know, all the people that meme about Florida roads being long and straight. Well, that's what this road is. This is uh, International Speedway Boulevard. And after these couple of curves here, there's no more. So we're going to cut this here and we'll catch you down by the uh, shovel hitch show. All right, just got to the boot hill. Let me tell you something, a pet peeve of mine. Okay, the Main Street Daytona is full of biker bars, okay? Boot Hill Saloon, Froggies, there's a couple others, whatever. Take your Hyundai and your marquee. Go park that mother over there, because I'm going to park right here. Get your out of the bike parking. That's my opinion, and yeah, I'm pretty heated about it, but... Whatever. Let's go have a beer and get the fuck over it. All right, so we wanted to go for a ride with our friends anyway. The whole reason that this place was the destination was because of the Shovelhead show, which I wasn't like super excited about anyway. It's the place to come. There's no Shovelhead show. And Main Street Daytona is blocked off for a food truck thing. But there's like four food trucks. The entire Main Street's blocked off. So, yeah. It's all good. You can't sweat to death with your friends. Who can you sweat to death with? Hey. <laughs> See what I'm saying? All right, there's uh, there's no shovel heads here, which I'm not really broken hearted about. But uh, this is this Boot Hill place is not my favorite. You know what is my favorite? Froggies. And we're gonna head down there right now. The uh, streets Mike, closed. Huh? Like they got it wrong. What? It wasn't a shovel head show. It was a party for people that are old enough to have owned a shovel head. Oh, here's what the thing was. They said it's a shovel head show if you can get it running and ride it here. That's why there were no shovel heads here. So I also will be, I'm very happy to report that there's no uh, Lake Evo under my uh, Dyna today. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. We're going to Froggies. I'm going to show you guys the inside of Froggies today, I think. Finally break down and show you guys the inside of Froggies. I've never recorded in there. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in a few minutes. All right, boys, it's now uh, Sunday, September 1st. Yesterday was a great, great time hanging out with uh, with friends. Um, like I said yesterday, there's like, um, you know, we've been here 11 months, haven't really made new friends. My wife and I don't make friends that easily. So the fact that we had a friend group in Tampa I mean, it took us six years from the time we moved there until we started hanging out with people. So uh, coming over here, do we ever make friends? I don't know, but it was nice to see familiar faces. But I want to show you, I want to show you the dyno. No oil, baby. I mean, we got a drop. Like I said yesterday, I'm okay with a drop. So we rode this thing a lot yesterday in the Florida heat and uh, it seemed to do fine. I just need to check the oil level. And speak of the devils. Here they are. We're gonna grab some breakfast before they head back over to the uh, west coast of Florida. What's the fun of having extra toys if people can't play with them when they come to your house? It is cool. It's got a speedometer on it right there. See? I promise you, I do not go 15 miles an hour. We did this time. Yeah, these things are pretty cool. All right, nieces and nephews, that's going to uh, wrap this video up. Look, I stepped outside to do the, to get some natural lighting um, for this outro, and my glasses are already fogging up. Today marks three weeks to the day since my last video came out. Uh, man, I got to tell you, everybody's busy, right? Every adult out there has life. My grandson's in football. That's been a Monday through Friday thing for two hours, and then games on Saturday. I just traveled out of state for a few days. 
So I've been just plumb full of uh, my schedule, just been chock full. So hopefully uh, when things start slowing down again, we'll get back on the regular. Hey, check out the uh, store below. I, I've got um, I've got more congregation shirts, and I actually opened up the uh, Swamp King design uh, back up. Uh, I, I won't call it a pre-order, but there is going to be a little bit of a delay. Uh, I found a different option for getting these things printed and uh, we're rolling with that for a little while. I might talk a little bit more about that uh, as we move forward in the future, but uh, those things are available. Order them if you want them and uh, we might look at bringing that sticker back out with the uh, uh, with the new, I don't know, the pentagram symbol on there with the springers. Don't get all offended about it. It's just good fun, whatever. But yeah, thanks for coming along for this video and all videos. And until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>